This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Let's get rid of every attachment to witchcraft, shall we? Please. Thank you. Listen to this. You must hear it. Just to show you how the works of darkness fight against our destiny, fight against the works of God. Many of you are threats to the enemy's camp, and you don't realize it. But Satan has set people out there to block your fruition of fulfilling God's destiny and calling in your life. This man admits to what he used to do, and he describes what his role was as he served the devil before he gave his heart to the Lord. Now that should tell you something. All right, I want you to listen to this. I have to keep you away from the plan of God, no matter what, at any cost. In other words, to do witchcraft, to do tower car readings, to do uh, spells, to paralyze that, their, their neighborhood so the Christ, the cross won't reach their neighborhood. So the people in their neighborhood will know that it was a spirit of poverty, a spirit of prostitution, drugs. I keep it, I feed that spirit in the neighborhood to control that neighborhood so the cross of Jesus Christ will not come into that neighborhood. If you're a believer, to make you believe that the Christ you serve wasn't real, he was a fantasy. The cross is a fantasy. The cross is a figure of your imagination. I was very good at that. I had like a PhD doing that. And then after that, I discredit the cross because I have to discredit the cross because if I can discredit the cross, you have nowhere to run to. Sure. So you were vulnerable. You were in the middle of nowhere. So now I can come and attack. It's like a lion. He chased the, he chased the hurdle. He goes after the weakest prey. And then he attacks and focuses on that weakest prey so he brings it down. So I, I, I have to separate you from the cross. So I'm able to separate you from the cross. And to make it a figure of imagination, I knew that there was gateways and portals that you were open because you were struggling. So I would hold on to that and then bring you down. Well, I would sit in the church. I would go to church as a demon man and sit in the church and break the unity of the church or break the unity of the spirit going on so people won't get saved. There's, there's, there's two worlds. There's, there's, there's the kingdom of, the, of darkness and the kingdom of heaven. There's people that have seen angels. There's people that had encounter with Christ. So if you can see that, then there's a devil. Sure. There's an opposite. I mean, you can't, Jesus talked about more about demons, cast out more demons. Wasn't that a third of his ministry? Exactly. Why do we not see more of that today? Because the church is preaching people happy, they're not preaching people free. Say that again. The church is preaching people happy, but they're not preaching people free. People, Christians are coming in in bondage and, and, and shackles and strongholds and, and, and generational curses in the, in the pastors. And no disrespect to anyone's ministry because I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm a believer. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm on the side. I'm on the right side. But I can't preach you free, but I'm preaching you happy. Right. You know, it's like a sugar rush. I'm giving you a sugar rush, but I'm not really, you're not being healed. You're not right. being delivered. You're not being set free. To know that there's a devil to fight. There's demons to cast out. There's, there's, there's a world of darkness that we're in a battle for souls. Sure. Who's going to win souls? Jesus is going to win more souls than the devil is. Yeah, it's really neighbors and put curses in the neighborhood because whatever you can curse on the spirit realm is able to come out the natural. And the only neighborhood that I was not able to curse was a Christian that were praying for the neighborhood. They wow. had a circle of unity praying for the neighborhoods and they used to chase me out to prayer. Wow. With one accord, one unity, praying in the spirit, casting out demons, healing the sick. People need to see the power of God against the power of darkness. You have a purpose and a destiny that is in you, that God already put in you. He's trying to abort that baby. He's trying to abort that purpose and destiny so you won't reach the cross. You don't realize is all the works of darkness, all the things they do. Now the man just got to talking about how there are demons over regions, which I had mentioned a few videos ago. There are demons assigned to regions, and that's why there are some neighborhoods that are bombarded with crime, bombarded with violence, bombarded with rape, bombarded with alcohol, bombarded with drugs, bombarded with pedophilia, bombarded with human trafficking. I mean, the list goes on. But then you notice there are other neighborhoods, and it has nothing to do with money. There are other neighborhoods that are peaceful, that are at a very low crime rate. Well, this man just explained it. When you have people praying over an area constantly, taking authority over the works of darkness, the devil cannot have the freedom to wreak havoc in that area. He doesn't have the freedom to wreak havoc in people's lives. Now, there are many gateways, too, where we almost invite the enemy in through our mouths, 
the words we say, our attitudes, our actions, things we do, things we don't do. All the times we yield to our flesh and are given to wrath, bitterness, envy, strife, whatever, arguments. Why don't you go to hell? Why don't you drop dead? Why don't you, I wish I never met you. I wish you were never born. All that kind of stuff. Well, that is an open door for Satan to come in and wreak even more havoc. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to let the man do the talking. Well, watch it. See, that was married, right? And I, my, me and my wife had an argument. And I, I turned around, I can't, I, you know, I hate this. I hate that. I can't believe this. You know, I hate those kids. I, I, I hate you. Why you make this bad decision? You're no good for nothing. Uh, I can't wait to get divorced from you. Hmm. The devil, man, jumps on that opportunity. He start increasing that temper. He start increasing that circumstance in your house. He start to the point that you lose life in your house. You lose life in your kids. You lose life in your marriage. Now you start getting attracted to other things mm -hmm. because you have opened the door because what you speak is what you become. Right? One situation can keep it. The devil can use one situation to hold you from God's very best. And you might think it's light, gateway, as a portal to get a grip, to have an asset, to have a stronghold in your life. Doubt, unbelief, fear, oppression, depression. There's Christians right now taking so much medication. There's Christians today cutting themselves. Why, why is that? I mean, I mean, it, to me, boggles my mind that, that we serve a mighty God. Not that we have to live a perfect life, because we're not going to live a perfect life, but even in my storms, I have peace. There's Christians that walk around, they don't have no peace. Fear. There is a kingdom of darkness, but there is a kingdom of light that is here for you today that can set you free. And once the sun sets you free, you're free indeed.